Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, this week I'm going to talk to you about how I clean and organize my cake cupboards. Um, these videos have become pretty popular on YouTube. Um, I guess they're not for everybody, but a lot of people enjoy them, so I'm going to try it out for myself. Um, I'm going to go through each cupboard, show you what's in the cupboard before I organize, and then I'm going to show you what it looks like after it's all cleaned and put back together. So um, if you enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and keep watching. This is the cake section of my kitchen. Um, there's another side of the kitchen to the right, but that's for everything else. And this side of the kitchen here just houses everything cake related. So we're going to start off with the cupboard to the top left. Um, you can see that I have piping tips and sprinkles and, and bowls and chocolates. And it's just a little bit messy, so we're going to clean that up in a few minutes. The next um, cupboard I have here is for my dry ingredients, and it's a little bit... Um, scattered everywhere we'll fix that up the top drawer here is all of my spatulas um, palette knives and measuring cups and spoons the drawer underneath that is where I keep my flour and sugar um, in these big bins and they get really dusty so we'll clean that up the last drawer on the bottom is where I keep my vanilla salt baking powder um, baking soda just little things like that Next drawer over um, is where I keep my small mixer and all of the attachments. This drawer is where I keep all of my icing colors and piping bags and parchment paper rounds. I keep my cake pans in this drawer. And then the bottom drawer is like miscellaneous cake pans of different sizes that I don't use often. Over to the left, the top drawer here. I keep um, cake boards and um, baking tools that don't fit anywhere else. Keep cupcake liners in the next drawer down, rolling pins and things like that on the sides, and some supports and dowels for cakes. The bottom drawer, I have um, a big container full of cookie cutters on the left there. Um, you can see I'll open it up. All of these cookie cutters, I should probably go through them and get rid of some. And then this is silicone molds and um, plastic molds for chocolate and fondant on this side. The last cupboard to the left here, I have my extra mixer that broke, but I got it fixed. And my cake turntable. So we're getting started with the organization. I'm taking everything out of this cupboard here um, so I can lay it all out on the cupboard and have a good look at everything, um, see if I want to get rid of anything, and I like to give the shelves a good wipe before I put things back in. And here is the overview of everything that just came out of that cupboard, and I'm going to go ahead and go through each thing and put it back in its original place. So I'm going to give the cupboards a quick wipe. I like to use this method all-purpose cleaner to wipe them out and it smells really good and it cleans it up. So we're going to wipe out all of the cupboards and then we're going to get to putting everything right back in. So now that everything's clean, I'm going to start putting things back in. Um, the mixing bowls and all the little portion bowls can go back in. Um, I like to leave them right here because they're easiest to reach and I reach for them a lot. So I'm putting everything back in the cupboard and I like to keep um, the things that I use the most on the two bottom shelves. Um, the stuff on the top shelves I don't reach for much. A big part of um, this sprinkle box is going through and getting rid of expired things and things that I won't be using anymore. I went through a phase where I wanted to collect all kinds of sprinkles and put them in these little dishes with the white lids and display them on a shelf when I used to live with my mom and dad. Um, obviously that was not practical. Uh, I did keep some of the containers, um, but I got rid of a lot of the sprinkles that were in those containers. Uh, these ones that I'm showing you are the ones that I'm keeping and that are relatively new. Um, some of them didn't have expiry dates, which is weird. Um, and I did try a couple different ones just to see if they taste off or not. Um, but I did get rid of a lot. And a lot of them did go in the green bin. I think I show you that at the end of all the things that I'm going to throw out. I did have a lot of random baggies of sprinkles that I got rid of. And I'm just organizing them and popping them back in the dish. I'm always so amazed at how dust can get on these lid tops that are in a cupboard. But I guess it happens. Anyways, I wipe everything off and put it back in. These next few containers are very random. Um, this is 
uh, random cake toppers and cupcake toppers. So there's chalkboard ones, baby ones. I have a couple wedding ones that I bought on sale at Michael's once using coupons. Um, most people have their own wedding cake topper, but I guess I have them just in case. I have very old grad cake ones that probably still say 2018, but I am going to um, use them and just cut the 2018 off if I ever need to. I just don't want to waste them. These ones are ones that I made and laminated them and I had extra, so I'll save those for another cake in the future. This box is filled with other kinds of cake toppers. These are some sort of flowers and a cupcake stand. And there's lots of um, dowels, not dowels, um, cake pop sticks, which I don't make cake pops anymore because they take forever. And I feel like you'd have to charge a lot of money to get your money's worth back. So I kind of gave up making cake pops for people. Um, I had some random cake toppers kicking around like dinosaurs and tractors and windmills. So I'll stick everything in this box, cover it up, wipe it down, and I'm going to pop everything back up into the cupboard. These two containers I don't reach for much so that's why they're at the top. So now we're going to move on to piping tips. What normally happens in the cupboard is I just put the piping tips right in front of the container and I don't actually put them in the container until there's too many of them and then I have to take them all down and put them away and organize them. I got these containers at Michael's. I like how um, each drawer kind of tips open and you can just put the piping tips right in. I have each section labeled. Um, for example, I have round, miscellaneous, star, closed star, um, just so I can keep them more organized and easier to find. So right now I am here um, grouping all of the tips together and I'm just going to organize each drawer and pop them back in. I used to have a different type of container that was just a big open container and I would throw all my piping tips in but this definitely makes things a little easier and um, it saves me some time for sure. And when putting them back in the cupboard, I obviously put the one on the bottom um, that I reach for more. Alright, so here's the before. And then here's the after. You can see it's much more neat and tidy than it was. This next cupboard is where I keep candy and chocolate that I use for toppings on cakes. Um, I'm going to take everything out and we're going to wipe it down again. And then go through each thing before putting it all back in the cupboard. So there was quite a bit of random stuff, um, like old chocolate and gumballs that I got rid of. I had a phase where I thought gumballs looked good on every cake. Um, they're just hard and kind of gross, so I stopped using those. I popped all those containers back up in the cupboard. I put the chocolate on the bottom section of the cupboard because I use that the most. Alright, so here's the before, very messy, and then here's the after shot after I cleaned everything up. All of the top cake cupboards are done, so we're going to move on to the bottom cupboards. It's mostly drawers, um, a couple cupboards, and we're going to go through one by one. Starting with the top drawers on the right side here. So this drawer is where I keep all of my spatulas and smaller cake tools and all of my measuring cups and spoons. So this very wrinkly drawer liner <laughs> is going to just protect the bottom of my drawer. I need to get some sticky tack to really stick that down. I start with um, the measuring cups and measuring spoons sections and then I go over to my spatulas and palette knives. Um, these are just things that I reach for the most. Um, all of my little spatulas there. I put some cake scrapers and bench scrapers in the back there and then little whisks and bigger spatulas in that drawer. The next drawer down is where I keep my flour and sugar and icing sugar um, in these big bins. Um, they do get kind of messy, so I'm just going to wipe the tops off of all of those. The bottom drawer is a lot of little packages and things that I do use often but gets very unorganized quickly. I put my vanilla, my baking powder, cocoa powder, everything like that in this drawer. Um, so I'm just going to go through and organize everything. Um, again, put things closer to the front that I reach for um, more often. This next cupboard is a dry ingredient cupboard. I just tidied it up a little bit and then I moved on to my mixer cupboard. Um, I took all the bowls off, tidied it up. This little mixer I only use for um, smaller batches, which doesn't happen often. 
so I keep this little cover over top. Um, I think I got that as a gift for Christmas one year. It's really nice to keep the dust out. And then I just put the mixing bowls that fit my bigger mixer in the front. And all of these attachments are on the top drawer, which is really nice to keep them separate. And I just kind of moved those around so they looked a little bit neater. And I'll give you a shot of those. And everything just pushes back into the cupboard, which is really, really nice. So this is a pretty fun drawer. I keep all of my um, Wilton gel colors in here. I use an old Ferrero Rocher chocolate box where it has the perfect inserts to hold them up so they don't fall over. Um, and then I have my piping bags and paint brushes and food markers. I have some parchment rounds for cake pans and my um, fondant tools in the back there. I don't use the fondant tools very much but they pretty much just hold the colors in place. <laughs> And then in the back left, I have all of my gold glitter and different colored glitters, white, white icing color, some extra piping bags, and um, there's a scale in the left there as well underneath those um, parchment rounds. This drawer is my least favorite drawer to organize because of the cake pans. I find it hard to keep them um, nicely stacked. You can't keep all of the same size together because they fall over and take up too much room. So I do the best that I can <laughs> and um, as long as I can reach them when I need them that's all that matters. So we stack them up nice and then we move on to the drawer below. I leave the drawer below the way it is because I don't touch those as much. It's just my slab cake pans. I don't make many slab cakes anymore. Um, so as you can see it's pretty organized. And then I move on to the top drawer on the next side over. This is where I keep all of my cake boards and miscellaneous cake tools that I don't use often. Um, so this was a pretty quick cleanup. And then we're going to move on to the drawer underneath. This drawer is all of my cupcake liners. The back um, basket there is support straws and things like that. And then on the right there is where I keep rolling pins and seal pet mats and stuff like that. This last drawer is just uh, cookie cutters and silicone molds and it doesn't take me very long to organize this drawer at all. And this is everything that I got rid of. So that is everything for this video. If you'd like to see a more in-depth kitchen tour, please let me know down in the comments and I can do that for sure. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any new videos from me.